Hey, so those are my nanny twins. I've been with them since they were four months old. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a nanny job along with a few other helpful tips. I like to refer to myself as a full-time nanny and part-time babysitter. And a lot of people always ask me, well, what's the difference between a nanny and a babysitter? Well, for starters, a nanny has way more responsibilities than a babysitter does. Depending on the family, responsibilities could include light housekeeping, cooking, laundry, and planned activities. There's also a bigger commitment when you're a nanny. Like some families, they might want you to commit for at least a year. I did start off part-time with my twins and I worked my way up to full-time. Um, like I said, I started with them when they were four months and the plan is for me to be with them until they go to kindergarten. There are also state regulations when it comes to being a nanny. So that would cover your benefits, your sick time, your vacation time, your health insurance, all that kind of stuff. And there are also nanny taxes. A babysitter. A babysitter usually watches kids on occasion, like for example, date nights. They don't have as many responsibilities as a nanny. So they may be there to entertain the kids, watch a movie, put them to bed at night, stuff like that. Um, they're there to supervise, make sure the kids aren't killing each other and nobody burns the house down. And whether you're a babysitter or a nanny, it's always a good idea to draw up a contract. Contracts lay out both the nanny, babysitter, and the family's expectations. So those are the differences between a nanny and a babysitter. Now, I'm gonna take you through my care.com profile. So this is my care.com profile. And my account is actually paused. I paused it to keep families from messaging me since I am already working and I'm not looking for a job at the moment. So this is the home page. These are other jobs on here that you can offer in addition to child care. They have a care community where caregivers go. It's like a Facebook, like you might want to post a question, um, ask for recommendations or suggestions, and people can respond. Like it's, it's, it's very similar to Facebook. They have articles and resources on here. I think it's a very helpful site. I was actually named a team leader. Because um, I used to initiate a lot of the conversation in the care community with discussions. So I'm going to go to my profile. My background check is not on here because you do have to pay for it. Once you pay for it, it'll post to your profile, but it, it'll expire after, um, I'm not sure how many days, but it expires. So it's always best to keep a hard copy of your background checks. So I'm gonna go to my profile. Here's my profile picture, my rate. Like I said, my account is paused, so it hasn't been updated. See, it says it's 38 and 39 now. <laughs> but that's my bio. You get a certain amount of characters, but. These are side jobs that I'll offer. There's a calendar here for you to fill in your availability. So you have to verify your other accounts. It's my employment info. So my profile shows up in a search 
it'll show people that I'm looking for part-time work as a nanny and that's my price range my experience number of children I'm comfortable number of children I'm comfortable with taking care of at one time it's age groups of the children additional services that I offer additional qualifications I'm a doula <laughs> so this is my care.com profile and my account is actually paused I paused it to keep families from messaging me since I am already working and I'm not looking for a job at the moment so this is the home page These are other jobs on here that you can offer in addition to child care. They have a care community where caregivers go. It's like a Facebook, like you might want to post a question, um, ask for recommendations or suggestions, and people can respond. Like it's, it's, it's very similar to Facebook. They have articles and resources on here. I think it's a very helpful site. I was actually named a team leader. Because um, I used to initiate a lot of the conversation in the care community with discussions. So I'm going to go to my profile. My background check is not on here. Because you do have to pay for it. Once you pay for it, it'll post to your profile. But it, it'll expire after, um, I'm not sure how many days, but it expires. So it's always best to keep a hard copy of your background checks. So I'm going to go to my profile. Here's my profile picture. My rate. Like I said, my account is paused, so it hasn't been updated. See, it says I'm 38 and 39 now. <laughs> but that's my bio. You get a certain amount of characters, but. These are side jobs that I'll offer. There's a calendar here for you to fill in your availability. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work. I have to use my iPad, so. Oh my god. <laughs> that wasn't right. <laughs> so you have to verify your other accounts it's my employment info so my profile shows up in a search it'll show people that I'm looking for part-time work as a nanny and that's my price range My experience, number of children, I'm comfortable, number of children, I'm comfortable with taking care of at one time. It's age groups of the children, additional services that I offer, additional qualifications. I'm a doula. <laughs> I 
prenatal and postpartum doula. Oh, wait. All right. Additional qualifications. Go back up. Here are my reviews. Like I said, I haven't updated it. I haven't been on here for a while. These are family, friends, and families that I've that have hired me. So this will show right on your profile. Look, I did some cat sitting. <laughs> the reviews definitely help. People definitely want to see reviews on your page. What else? Um, I did this cheesy video. Hi. I don't have much more <laughs> to say other than what's already written in my bio. I did want to make a video to let you guys know how to pronounce my name. It's Baja. My friends call me Baj, and Baja means happiness. I'm looking for a few families to work with, happy families, and maybe, you know, spread some more happiness. <laughs> Thank you guys for checking out my profile. Contact me if you have any questions. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I think that video is so cheesy. But a lot of people say they liked it. And this, the video is what um, attracted them to my profile. I actually worked for more than three families. But... um. I think because three families paid me through the app, it only shows up as three families. Oh, so let's act like, <laughs> let me show you, let me show you how to apply for a job. So these are the jobs, apply to jobs near you. So you will find, see that eight to nine dollars an hour. So you will find a job. I mean, click on. You'll find a job that best suits you. I'm going to click on, just because I'm curious. I want to click on this. She didn't say much. Let's try another one. This is a this is a nanny agency. This is a private family. I like the profiles that have pictures. 
that sometimes you'll find that their job description is more detailed. So when you do find a job that you're interested in, <clears throat> so if you do find a job that you're interested in, you simply click apply. I already have something saved here. That's from, you know, when I was on there looking for a job. If you're not sure about something, it's always good to ask questions. Sometimes I'll do another job when I need a break from child care. And you can always go back to child care. Let me try pet care. And you do have to create another bio for each additional job that so it will be the same if you did housekeeping. Notice that the bios change. The rates change, change according to, you know, whatever you think your worth is. So that's it. That's how care.com works pretty much. It's a pretty good site. I think it's easy to navigate through. They have helpful resources and things like that. I think I'm gonna make this my official tip giving corner. So now that you've applied for jobs, it's time to set up your interview. And it's always best to meet in a public place. I'll admit I didn't meet all of my families in public places. I mean, sometimes it's an inconvenience for the families. Like the twins, for example, they have twins. So it was best that I come to them. And on care.com, I don't know if anything has changed since the last time I've been on there. But one of the things that I mentioned to them, we used to have um, conference calls. So one of the things that I mentioned to them was, families can always do background checks on the caregivers, but there was really no way for the caregivers to do any checks on the families. I don't know if that's changed. If it hasn't, um, it's always best to do some research. Pretty much everybody in the world, except for me, has a Facebook. Use Google to find out anything that you need to know because you need to know what type of family that you're walking into. I choose my families based on vibes. If I'm getting a bad vibe, then it's usually a family that I bypass. There's plenty of other jobs out here. I'm not really motivated by money. Yes, I do want my rate, but I have taken jobs that pay less than what I was asking for. And they did pay less, but I moved up. So there is, most times there is a chance for an increase in your rate. Vibes are important to me, personality, character, um, their morals and their values. Um, parenting philosophy and parenting style are also very important to me. Meaning, how does this family raise their children? Religion doesn't really come into play, but it is good that we can coexist in the same space together. Okay, back to interviewing. In order for you to be treated as a professional, you need to carry yourself as a professional. That means resumes, portfolios, certifications, 
everything. Treat this like it's a real job because it is a real job. Your pay rate is totally up to you. It should be based on your experience and your qualifications. Don't forget to list any special skills, like if you're fluent in any other languages, if you have any special talents that you might be able to share with the kids, um, stuff like swimming. I'm not a strong swimmer, but a lot of families vacation and they go to beaches and it might come in handy for you to be a strong, a strong swimmer. I can save a kid. <laughs> I can save a kid, but I'm not a very strong swimmer. Families need you just as much as you need them, if not more. During your interview, make sure you ask questions too. The family has to be a right fit for you also. So flip the script a little bit. Um, it's like a, now that I told you what I can do for you, what can you do for me? Other things that I find to be very important, hygiene, trustworthiness, communication, honesty, reliability, dependability. Families will be inviting you into their home and there may be a certain level of privacy that they want you to maintain. So, you know, and that would include taking pictures of their children, taking pictures in their house, stuff like that. So those things definitely need to be discussed. I did get permission from the twin's father, you know, about recording them and sharing pictures with them on social media and here on YouTube. Well, I think that's it. I can't really think of anything else. I hope you find these tips to be helpful, beneficial. Um, if you do, please feel free to share this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.